Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. <laughs> Black moment today. You're eating so fast. Santa Claus drop off vibes. I'm not in focus. <laughs> so grateful. I am so excited about this week because it is officially Diwali week. So today is actually Dantaras, which is the first day of like the Diwali celebration so technically Diwali is like a five day period and this is day number one for the next few days we're basically doing like so much prep so we're going to be making some Indian sweets and I'm trying to make them like healthy like legitimately healthy so that's gonna be fun <laughs> we're gonna be cleaning and getting the home ready which is like a pretty traditional part of Diwali like you just get like the home like really really clean and everything so that God can come and bless the home gonna be spending time with family having good food all that kind of thing so today is Tuesday actual Diwali day is Thursday so between now and then guys we've got so much to do we have so much to do so that's probably going to be like the main thing but obviously we're still in our healing era and we've still got stuff to do aside from the fact it's Diwali so I'm going to take you along with basically everything this week so starting today I have acupuncture if you guys watched my last vlog then you'll know that I had like a whole week of migraines it was actually madness they only stopped in the last couple days but I booked an appointment with my acupuncturist because I was like let me just see if he can do anything about that so we have that we've got to leave in like just over an hour just had breakfast had a kind of early start to the day because there's so much to do here we go I hope you love this one okay we are starting let me turn this down we're gonna start with my room today so there's actually so many like clothes and you know like that chair you have in your room where you just kind of like build up clothes like washed clothes whatever I have a lot of that to sort out and also I've been shopping as you guys know and I'm running out of space with where to put this stuff and I need to like reorganize so much about my room but uh, we just we can't unpack that just yet so baby steps we're gonna superficial tidy then we're gonna vacuum then we're gonna dust I'm gonna just get as much of this done as I can before I have acupuncture so I've got Bridgerton on in the background I'm re-watching season one because it was the best season and I've got some packages and stuff but I think I'll open that with you guys in a little bit I'm doing some washing yeah we're gonna we're gonna spruce this room up i would show you but i'm not gonna show you he says I'm kind of in need for each time I go I, f I just find it so interesting so this time we hit on like just all the main points of the body and we actually concentrated on the heart which was really interesting but good news is he said my pulse was like way better than it has been lately um just like stronger and just a lot better and he was like you're looking really good I was like this is great to hear like that's amazing so I feel really good, I feel even better, I feel strong, I do feel strong and I just feel like we're getting there guys, I feel like we're making really good progress and it just feels so great, so great. So I made a lot of progress with the cleaning actually, I ended up like doing a deeper clean than I planned to but it was all needed and oh it just my room feels so much better already. I might be going to Dunham 
later. I never know how to say that. Is it Dunham? Is it Dunelm? I I don't know. But I might be going there a little bit later with mum. We're gonna pick up a couple of things and I need like a new system for so many things in my room. Like because I've got a dust allergy, I need absolutely everything in my room to be covered so that I can easily dust and polish everything like every week. Whereas at the moment it gets really difficult because for example, I've got like loads of books on my windowsill and it just gets dusty and then I just don't really know what to do about it. So I don't know if it's like a thing to have like an acrylic clear like bookcase like an enclosed one I don't even know if that exists, but if it doesn't it should so I'm gonna look for maybe something like that when we go there Have a little browse just see if there's any like organizational bits that could be handy for my room So that should be good um, Hopefully we will go there today, but if not today, it's gonna be in the next few days anyway So you know what? It's actually been a very productive day so far Okay, this year's Rangoli is done. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with it. I wanted to do something like quite simple because we have so much to do still. So I didn't want to spend too many hours on it. So I just did something quick, but I think it's come out really cute. So traditionally you put this outside your front door and you put like a beaver, which is like a little candle, which you saw I put on it. So I just put it outside our front door now. And it's so fitting because today is the first day of Diwali. So it can be out there for the whole five day period. Anyway, okay, that's what I've been doing since I came back from acupuncture. I really feel like I need to just chill for a bit So I'm gonna rest and then let's see what's next. Okay, now we're gonna work on putting these fairy lights I'm thinking like maybe across the top of this mirror. We already have some on that side I think you can see it through the mirror and obviously the valley is a festival of light so we have to have loads of fairy lights and all that kind of thing. So I've got like some waterfall ones in my bedroom. So they're going to be on for the next five days. We've got these ones, but I'm trying to decide where in the living room to put these. But I feel like this is a nice spot because everywhere else is kind of like behind the sofa. So we won't really see it. So let's try and do this. Bless you. Careful, oh, Nanny. I, I made it to one of them. <laughs> we don't have enough plugs on this side. Oh. Is this the TV and the skybox? <laughs> Never mind, we do, we do. Ignore me. <gasps> They're so pretty. I'm so glad. Well, I haven't put them up yet, but I plugged them in. <laughs> We can put it in our snake plant like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Just realized you guys can't even see what I'm doing. <gasps> oh no! There we go. Hmm. Should we drape it? Or should we do it like this? Great. What do you think? That's, that's good. I love it. Do you want to wrap it around it? I don't know. Should, yeah, would it be better going around yeah, the whole frame? Yeah, thinking. Okay, let me do that. Like this? Mm. What, bring it down a bit? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> good morning. It is officially just carrying stuff. Oh, God. 
It is officially day two of Diwali prep today. My brother is actually coming over this morning. So I kind of want to get a few things done before that. Also, who loves my new PJs? How cute are they? I have the top as well, but I just took it off. I did, however, realize last night that I'm gonna need to wash my hair today if I want fresh hair for Diwali day. We are doing some hair oiling today. I'm gonna not actually leave it in for very long because it's gonna be such a busy day and I just need to get it done. I'm using organic castor oil. I used to use coconut oil and then I was like, to be honest, I should be using castor oil. I'm kind of limited with what hair oils I can use because of my allergies there is a hair oil blend which i love absolutely love it's by a small business akm hair and i noticed really good results with like hair growth and everything there's a blend of like a few oils but just because of what my body's going through at the moment i want to keep it as simple as possible so instead of doing a blend of oils I'd prefer to just stick to like one or two for the time being. So the to-do list for today, I know this is really bad timing, but I have an optician's appointment. <laughs> I know, not ideal of all days to go to the opticians, but because of my migraines, I kind of wanted to get it sorted just in case like while I'm drawing or something, I'm straining my eyes without sort of realizing it. I haven't actually had my vision checked since second year uni so that's like eight years ago wow that's kind of crazy so i have that at like 11 a.m so the plan is oil wash the hair making sweets that is um what needs to happen today the plan was to do that yesterday but we just kind of ran out of time so we're gonna make mitai which is basically indian sweets um so there's a few things we're gonna make and then we're gonna package them up. So I bought like some gift wrapping and stuff, which I need to unbox still. It's in those Amazon packages that um, we need to open. But that's like the main priority for the day. So I'm feeling good that I've woken up early, just getting a head start on everything. So here we go. Welcome to the next day of Diwali prep. <laughs> Diwali vibes have started already. Let's get back to it. up with a little voiceover vibe hi hello hi <laughs> so i had my optician's appointment which i'm gonna chat to you about a bit later in the vlog and then on my way home i was like you know what we actually need a few things so i stopped into sainsbury's and first i picked up berries because obviously healthy girl era healthy lifestyle you know the vibes at the moment this is for my breakfast which i'm actually obsessed with at the moment i made like a berry yogurt chia pudding thing but i have it with coconut yogurt this is normal yogurt um this wasn't for me Anyway, then I picked up some peanut butter for one of the sweets and you're going to see me use this very soon. And then I went to my organic food shop and picked up a little stock up of the vitamins I was running low on. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? 
the hell? If <laughs> it's up, game up. What is it about stuff always taking so much longer than you think it's going to? I am so tired. I haven't even spoken to you all day, like since this morning. Oiled my hair, washed my hair, went to my optician's appointment, which actually, side note, like I haven't even told you about it, was really, really good. Like it was so helpful. I got an eye health check, another one, and like CT scans and everything of my eyes. And obviously like my vision test and everything and i actually got to talk to someone about my blepharitis my allergies all the issues that i've been having with my eyes and it was just such a good response like it was just really informative and so helpful and my vision has changed because it's been eight years at least actually since my last eye test so standard so i am getting new glasses and i'm actually really excited about them because i'm gonna get new frames and everything but i have no idea what kind of frame suits my face and because i'm so used to like looking at my face with makeup especially when there's like glasses involved i when i was trying some on today i was like um i don't know if i like it but i think it's because i'm not used to seeing myself with no makeup and glasses it's just not a combo that i'm used to seeing but yeah i'm gonna like think on the frames i think i'm gonna go to like some other places test out some frames and stuff and then make my decision but anyway that happened and then i had to collect some stuff for the mitai and everything we were making today came home carried on making that stuff and then my brother and my auntie came over and that was really nice actually we just kind of chilled and then that was like a few hours so then after that i was like okay we're behind schedule guys that like, we need to get going since then it's literally just been like making the sweets making the sweets like it just took so much longer than i thought it was going to it's now like 10 o'clock i think and i've just finished everything i didn't even get to pack them up but i'm gonna wake up early and do that in the morning i'm leaving home at 12 30 tomorrow i'm going to my cousin's house with my dad and my brother and then my brother is actually catching his flight tomorrow back to saudi so we're basically just like dropping him back at the airport after we go to my cousin's for a bit so i have until 12 30 to get myself ready pack all of the sweets that's it actually okay that's that's, I, I thought it was gonna sound really dramatic that's not that dramatic at all anyway it's been such a nice day like i love the hype around diwali and like getting ready for it and the prep like it's like you know that thing where people say oh the getting ready to go out is more fun than actually going out it's low-key a bit like that like the prep for diwali is like such a big part of the celebration like it's all in the prep so it's actually been really nice felt very traditional i am so tired i'm just gonna do my blepharitis bag now do my skincare and hit the sec i'm gonna knock out I'm gonna knock out and i'll see you in the morning on diwali day <coughs> happy diwali happy diwali guys <coughs> wishing you all love and light and goodness and strength and blessings and love and health heavy on health I love you guys all so much. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching me. I'm so grateful for you. Happy Diwali, guys. Okay, I am more awake now. Good morning, guys. I know today is probably going to get very busy. So before the day kind of properly begins and gets chaotic, I just wanted to say whether you celebrate Diwali or not, I really hope that you take the principle of today with you which is just that good will always win over evil there is always light to be found in the darkness positive thoughts positive actions are always stronger than negative ones i think it's just the most beautiful sentiment and in 
the kind of life that we live today in the society we're in today in the world we're in today i think it's such an important thing to carry with us so as i said whether you celebrate it or not i hope this is your reminder to just carry a little bit of light with you every day but anyway i love you guys so much and let's have the best day today first things first i'm gonna go jump in the shower have breakfast etc etc then we're gonna package up all the sweets from yesterday i can't wait to show you how everything has actually come out got a busy day we're currently like mid skincare but we need to open those amazon deliveries that i've been referring to because we need to start packing and I ordered some stuff to make like cute Diwali gift package things. So I really hope this is gonna work. Okay, so I got like this clear like wrapping because I just thought I want it clear. I didn't want it to be like opaque. I thought it'd make it look really cute. And it's like comes in a roll. So I was like, all right, at least then I know I'm gonna have enough. Then I got this gold ribbon. This is actually a really nice color. It's like a champagne-y like dark muted gold it's not like bright yellow gold which is actually what i wanted and i love the thickness and then yes i got red because gold and red is just like the most traditional diwali colors if you ask me like everything is gold and red gold and red gold and red so i was like it just makes sense to make the ribbons gold and red you know what it's so good that i can't even wear makeup at the moment because otherwise can you imagine what time i would have had to wake up this morning just to like get ready anyway <laughs> This is what we're gonna pack everything with. So I really hope, I really hope it looks as cute as the vision in my head. Right guys, I wanna show you the fit. Excuse my fairy lights. You can't see anything. Why have I made you so high? Take two. This is what I'm thinking. And then I think I'm gonna wear white trainers. I do also have like boots that match this color like cowboy boots, which I could wear under my jeans, but uh, I feel like I wanna do a trainer. Little outfit of the day. I did my hair in a slick back. I know I'm trying not to do my hair like this too much so that I'm not pulling at the hairs, but it's Diwali, it's an occasion, so it's a one-off. <laughs> They're done! Look how cute they look! We have more to make, but these are just for the people I'm seeing today. Now we've got to clean up and we've got to be out of here. Morning! <laughs> Happy Diwali! Happy Diwali! Oh, and mango sweets. We got the sweets. So, we're going to do a taste test. Not allowed to be on the phone while I'm driving, mm -hmm. but it doesn't say anything about opening a bag of sweets, so I can do that. <laughs> okay, We're so we theatrical go. together. <laughs> Which one is your favorite? Um, this tastes the most like an Indian sweet, the gaju, gaju katli. Yeah, let's start with that. Okay. Good job. Right? Oh. And no sugar. Well, like, that's I can what's missing. <laughs> 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 like it? Seriously, yeah. Thank you. But no more, yeah? Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> very nice. Great. What is that? I don't know what it's Halwa. called. Halwa. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. You could sell these. For the viewers. What the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here? Wow. Yes, it's quite rich. Mm. That was so very nice. Very good. Yeah, More, thank very you. impressed actually. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, thank you. Well, Guys say hi. <laughs> yesterday when I went for my It is officially the next day. I am so happy guys, look at my skin. I'm 
I just feel so grateful and so overwhelmed with the fact it really feels like everything is just coming together now like I just can't believe it everyone was amazing my family took all the precautions and stuff and everyone was wearing like literally no fragrance like not even deodorant and like just went to extreme lengths for me made sure the home there was no fragrancy diffuser air freshener nothing at all and it paid off it paid off i'm so happy yesterday was such a great day um we dropped my brother off at the airport and the traffic yesterday was actually next level like we spent majority of the whole day in the car driving to and from places we had so much traffic even getting to my family's house that we were only there for an hour which is actually crazy like all other points in the day we were literally just like in the car traveling between places but either way like quality time is quality time whether you're in a car or in a house so i was with my dad i was with my brother and i got to see family that i actually have not seen in so many months guys i can't even remember i was trying to work out like obviously you guys saw in the last vlog that i saw my cousins and my family and that was the first time i had seen any of them in maybe since feb this year maybe since last year i can't even remember and then some more of my family who i didn't see last week like more of my cousins were there yesterday and i saw them for the first time and honestly like everyone just like being together made me just so happy because i feel like as a kind of survival strategy going through all of this you kind of try to block out the things that you're missing like for example i'm not really looking at you know old pictures of myself when i was wearing all my chains and my nails and my full face of makeup and i'm not thinking about all the things i used to do or used to be able to do that i can't do right now i'm trying to not look at that because it just makes it harder like it just rubs salt in the wound so the same thing like not being able to see like your loved ones and stuff like it is a bit like covid to be honest so seeing everyone obviously not able to hug anyone but seeing everyone has just felt just amazing we left and i was on such a high like <laughs> i was feeling so good and yeah then my brother went back to saudi so we dropped into the airport headed home and then once i got home mum and i like started watching a bollywood film and had like an evening together which was really cute went to bed and then here we are but it was just such a special Diwali, such a special day and like the fact I saw everyone and it was like the first time doing something like that in such a long time and it was Diwali, like oh my god, like can you think of anything more special? It was just amazing. So tomorrow is our New Year's Day. So today is kind of like a respite. I am going out this evening because there are some fireworks going on. So gonna probably go get some food, look at the fireworks just from the car. Cause I don't really want to be like outdoors in a park. That's probably a bit too risky. So that's the plan for today. I'm gonna pack some more of the sweets and mum and I are gonna go and gift them to people tomorrow. That's the plan. But for today, I'm gonna chill out a little bit. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you my skin and update you on yesterday today i'm so happy i just feel like i can actually see the finish line now i'm not even that fussed about like you know is it gonna be when is it gonna be i just i've seen enough to know we're going in the right direction and i can see so much progress that i'm happy i'm happy like i'm over the moon happy doesn't even describe it so grateful it's an all black moment today with some white crepes so mum and i were doing some research to try and find a restaurant that i could go to today which you know i can eat something at and we found this indian restaurant and i am so excited we actually called them in advance and said look these are you know the the food restrictions are you like is there something i can eat and there is and i'm so excited stay tuned because i can't wait for this Okay, plot twist. <laughs> um, we've had to change restaurants because I didn't realise. Am I in focus? There we go. I didn't realise that they cook all their food in soybean oil. I didn't even know. This is good, you know. You're eating so fast. 
Did you say you were a slow eater? Uh, this is good. Yeah, so everything was cooked in soybean oil and I can't eat any kind of like soya, soy or anything. So um, we were like, damn, now where are we going to go? So next door, there was like this Turkish restaurant and it looks so cute. Like the decor, everything. It's like fancy, fancy kind of vibes. And they're going to make me like an aubergine vegetable thing that I can have with rice. So it's all good. It's all good. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look how good this looks, guys. It's veggies in an aubergine. How do they do this without tomato? It looks so good. It's the next day. We're watching Kubi Kushi Kubi Gum, a classic. It's quite a depressing scene for me to actually decide to film. And we have more Diwali packages. I'm about to go do up like Santa Claus drop off vibes. I'm not in focus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus, Santa, Santa, Santa. Drop off vibes and go gift these. So that's the plan. Good morning. I hope this red lighting isn't giving you jump scare. We made it. It is officially the end of the Diwali week. <laughs> what a busy week it has been. But oh my God, it's been just like the best week ever. I feel like we really did Diwali right this year and it just feels so good. I saw, you know, pretty much everyone I would want to see and I got to celebrate with everyone, send love to everyone. And yesterday was our New Year's Day and mom and I went and we, as I said, like we went and dropped those Diwali sweet packages over to family that we hadn't seen in a long time, that I really hadn't seen in a long time. And then we came home and mom and I watched and mum and I watched, am I blue now? Or is it just my vision which looks blue? I think I'm blue. Let me stop and start you. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not blue anymore. Um, yeah, we came back and we just started watching um, a Bollywood film. We watched Dilwale. The day before we watched on, on Diwali, was it? On Diwali we watched Ye Jawani He Diwani, I think. But yeah, it's been so nice. Just like, <laughs> oh, it's just been such a great week. I was meant to go out today, but plans have actually fallen through. So I'm gonna have just like a bed day, a rest day, an editing day. I'm gonna start catching up on work because obviously I've not really been able to do my usual weekly tasks this week. So we're gonna catch up on work and chill out and get ready to start the next healing diary tomorrow. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this one. This obviously means a lot because it's such an auspicious vlog. <laughs> and speaking of healing diary, how amazing is my skin looking? This is the busiest week that I've had in so many months and the fact my skin and my body has held up, like I'm just gaining more and more confidence in myself, in my body, in my health every day and it is the most incredible feeling. It's such like a unique feeling. I don't even know how to put it into words. But if anyone else has experienced going through a health decline and then they're watching, they start to see themselves actually being brought back up. Like you're watching yourself getting built bit by bit back up. It is just the most incredible feeling in the world. And I love that I'm sharing it with you guys. It makes it even more special. So this has been an amazing week filled with more than one win and I'm feeling great. So thank you guys for watching this one and celebrating Diwali with me. If you celebrated, I hope you had an amazing Diwali week. I love you guys so much and I will see you next Sunday. Bye guys.